layered recording mode with fixed item lanes. A lot of people are confused about this, so am I, uh, but we're gonna go through all the different steps of setting up for recording in layers on a single track using the fixed item lanes functions. So in this project, I just have one track. I've got this synth track, sounds like this. That's my analog synth coming in. So we're going to enable fixed item lanes. So right click, fixed item lanes. And on this first lane, we're gonna right click, go to recording, and make sure that layer new lanes is enabled. Play all lanes should be enabled by default since there's only one lane. But uh, if I did add extra lane, you see that that gets kind of lit up and, and ready to play anyways. I'll just delete that. Just delete that empty lane. So this is where people would probably think that this would work now. So if we record two things, we would hear both things. We would hear the first recording as we record the second one. That's not going to be the case, but I'll, I'll just demo that for you. Okay, and now we'll record the second pass. So as I was recording, I could only hear the input. I couldn't hear the previous lane that was supposed to play back there. Even though both of these are set to play both lanes, and if I press play now, we'll hear both. But as I'm recording, based on one of my track settings, you're not gonna hear as you're recording. So all we need to do is right click on the record arm button, go to monitor track media when recording. That's a rarely used setting. It's important for this to work. All right, so the next note. And yeah, that's what you need to do. You need to enable fixed item lanes. You need to make sure that your lanes are set to layer new lanes. And then make sure that your track is set to monitor track media when recording. Otherwise, these files, as you layer them, are not going to play out. One other important thing here, when you're done with this view, you don't wanna see all the different lanes anymore. Instead of going here, show slash play only one lane, which will only play lane one, we wanna go into back into the full view, make sure that they're all playing, and command click on them, or right click, play all lanes, and then disable fixed item lanes. And now they're all playing, they're all stacked, the items are mixed in this view. Versus playing um, only one. And in this view, we can, I never mentioned it in the previous videos, but in this view, you can actually select takes here, but there's no way to play multiple takes from this single lane view. So we need to be in all view, set to play all lanes, and we can disable fixed item lanes, and they'll all play. All right, so let's re-enable fixed item lanes, and in this section, we're going to do the same thing but in loop record mode. So you would expect this to work the same way. We just set looping on and I have a loop selection, so it'll just loop through that area. Enable this. So as I record this, even though we've got the monitor uh, track media when recording enabled, looping won't work as you expect. So when I stop here, you see that there's three takes or, or three new lanes. Only the last one is going to play. The thing we need to change in Reaper is how new files are created when we're loop recording. So we go to preferences, audio, loop slash lane recording. And in here, when recording and looped, add recorded media to project on stop or at each loop, which creates new files good for audio layers on the fly. We're gonna enable this option here and then okay. I will delete these Let's just do new recordings here. Delete all lanes with no media. So we're ready to record again. It should layer with each new pass.
My timing's a little suspect, but it worked. So now you know how to do it with separate recordings, layering with separate recordings, or to layer with looping. It is a lot of steps. Maybe this will be simplified. You could probably create a custom action for this to set those options the way that you like. And it's just one click to turn that on, one click to turn that off. Yeah, but when we're done, just remember, if you want to heap these all in layers that are audible, you right click, go to fixed item lanes and turn that off. And now all of these layers will play. And this is a great way to get chords out of a monophonic synth. Hope that helps.